Hi everyone, today I am making pork tenderloin roast with rosemary and kosher salt in the sous vide. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out some of my other videos. And for returning people, I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, so I have everything here ready to go to make some pork tenderloin. I'm going to start with getting my sous vide temperature up because I'm cooking this at a higher temperature than I would say a steak. And so it's gonna take a few minutes to get that up to temperature. So I have my circulator wand. It's uh, the Instant Pot one, um, which I really like. I've been using it for two, three years now and it has never failed me. I'm using the inner liner of my uh, Instant Pot, but you can use uh, like a cook pot, um, any type of a large pot. Underneath, I've got my, my trivet that came with the Instant Pot. Um, but you can use any trivet. This gets hot enough to cook meat, so you don't want to have it sitting right on your counter. Okay, I'm going to set this to 136 degrees. And I want it to be um, one, 90 minutes, basically, so one and a half hours. It does not take very long to cook pork tenderloin. If I, if I hold it, it'll go so fast and I'll miss it. Okay, so that will take a couple minutes, a few minutes to warm up. Okay, so I have two pork tenderloins uh, that I'm going to put in the sous vide. I, uh, found, I used my Juul app on my phone, and I'll just show it to you. This is a free app, and it uh, allows you to choose like beef, seafood, poultry, pork, lamb, and so on. Like there's, there's even desserts and vegetables and stuff like that. You know, you basically have this uh, menu choice and I am going to choose pork and then they have all the different kinds of pork, you know, chops and steaks and shanks, spare ribs, everything. So I found the juicy pork tenderloin, which is what we want. So that's what I'm making. Then uh, you move over one more and they have the different choices. So if, you, if I press a different temperature, it'll show me a different picture of what it should look like when it's finished, which I think is really cool because, you know, sometimes if you pick a temperature, you can say, oh, that looks way too not done or, oh, that looks way too well done. And they have one which they always call our favorite. And that's the one I'm choosing. It's uh, Pink and juicy, 136 degrees. That's what we're making. For the time, it says that it's going to be one hour and 30 minutes. So uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. So some of you might be wondering, is it safe to eat pork that is pink and juicy? When it's sous vide, the answer is absolutely yes. And the reason for that is because at 130 degrees, sitting in this water, um, it is pasteurized. That is the, the uh, point at which it will be pasteurized. And so the longer it sits in that water, and it's going to sit in at an even higher temperature, 136 for an hour and a half, that pork is completely pasteurized, it is perfectly safe to eat, and is going to be tender and juicy. We're going to put a rose, what I call a rosemary rock salt crust on it. At least I hope it stays on. Um, I haven't done this in the sous vide before. So I have here uh, about a tablespoon and a half, maybe almost two tablespoons of fresh rosemary. And I'm just going to chop that up, just coarsely. We're not you know, doing anything too fancy here, just to release some of the, uh, the flavor and, and all that stuff. In this bowl, I have two tablespoons of kosher salt or rock salt sometimes it's called. And I'm just going to combine these two together. I am going to mix that up. And I'm going to pat that onto the 
to pork tenderloins. So pork tenderloin, if you don't know, it's very lean. I know that you can see some visible fat here and uh, I'm just gonna leave that fat on. If you're doing protein sparing, I mean, maybe you pick it off, but I'm not worried about it. I think it'll add a little bit to it. And I am just going to pat both these down with the rosemary and kosher salt. Try and get it on there as best I can. If there's any left over, save it for on top of one of your protein sparing breads or the BBBE bread, um, along with some melted butter. Oh, it's really good. You will love that. So I'm just gonna roll this around in the excess salt down here. Okay, so my temperature is good. I'm going to get these in the bags. So. Uh, you can get silicone bags for your sous vide. Uh, I didn't have any big enough for these, so I'm putting them in a Ziploc bag. And I think actually, because they're, they're not all that big, I'm gonna put them both in this one bag. I was going to use two bags, but I don't think that's necessary to be honest. So I'm gonna let almost all the air out just leave a little bit for some water displacement here. So I'm coming over here. Okay, so I'm lowering it down into the water and I'm getting a couple of clips here. I'm just gonna, I just gotta brush the salt off my. <laughs> my hands are covered in rosemary and salt. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get a couple of my clips to hold this down into the water as best I can. I'm gonna use one more clip. You want to have this completely covered and I am going to add a little bit of hot water because it's not quite up to the max line and um, I think, no actually it's all underwater. I think it's okay. Yeah, as long as it's all submerged then it doesn't really matter how deep the water is. So that is going to go for an hour and a half and uh, then we are going to sear it and slice it up. And uh, I'm really excited. I haven't done the tenderloins this way, but I've done things like turkey, the skinless turkey breasts and chicken breasts, and they're amazing. So I'm expecting that this is going to be really good. So we'll, we'll see you back here uh, pretty soon. See you in the next segment. Hi everyone, it's been an hour and a half and I'm gonna take the bag of pork tenderloins out. Uh, Teddy seems to know that the meat is cooked now, but you're just gonna to have to wait your turn. So I'm going to... <laughs> I, I, I broke one. These are just cheap dollar store ones. We have two pork tenderloins. I'm going to put them here on this paper towel um, because I want to get some of this liquid off before I sear it, them, before I sear them. Oops. And, all right. I'm going to uh, let these drain off a bit. I mean, they, they look kind of ugly because they've just come out of the sous vide and that's why we are going to sear them. And you do want to kind of get some of, well, as much liquid as you can off so that they sear properly. And there's many different ways you can sear them. You can do it in a frying pan, on a grill. I've chosen to do it on, in my air fryer <clears throat> and I'm gonna do it on the grill setting. I've got my, my uh, grill, so these will have grill marks on them. And I'm going to get this heating now. And so that'll just take a minute. So while we're waiting, I decided to wear my sunflower apron today. This is the one that used to belong to my dad. It was his favorite apron. Today is probably one of the first days of something that almost feels like summer is coming. We've been calling it Maybember because it has just been raining and cold and miserable. Um, but today it is just the skies have opened up and we have nothing but blue sky and maybe even a little warmth. We'll be going for a walk after dinner, right Teddy? He's been uh, patiently 
waiting over there, waiting his turn to have some dinner and go for a little walk. He loves going for his walks now. Right, Teddy? You just love going for a walk now. And he's the best behaved dog in the complex, I have to say. The other dogs are lunging at him and barking and he's just walk, 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 walk. He's been taught to totally ignore them, and uh, it's, it's just fantastic. I love taking him for a walk. Okay, we're going to put these in here. I'm gonna do it about one minute per side. Okay, so it's been, uh, couple minutes. I don't really want to cook it any longer because I don't I don't want this to dry out. So I'm going to cancel that. So I did I did one minute on one side and then I let it go for two minutes. So we have some grill mark but you know not as much as I would have liked and I think next time I might just put it in the air fryer and let it go for two or three minutes, but we'll see what we have here. The moment of truth. We're going to cut one of these. I'm just gonna cut this little tip off. Well, it's definitely pink and juicy looking. Oh, I like these little medallions that you can cut with the pork tenderloin. I'm just gonna cut a few. Teddy's waiting for his invitation. Okay, so if you look at that, it looks very juicy. Okay, let's give it a taste. Taste is what we want. Mmm. Well, I don't like to say perfect, but it's perfect. That It's got that salty, rosemary crust on the outside. The inside is tender and juicy and this is going to make a fantastic dinner. I have to have another. Just to make sure I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yep, so definitely um, this is the way to go. I have uh, made some, unfortunately, some dried out pork tenderloins before. I mean, you, you, it goes from being good to, oh, it's too dry in such a short time. Um, that is the advantage of sous vide. You can, you know, kind of pick your level of where you want it to be, and it's pretty foolproof. And, uh, and even though I didn't get the crust on it that I wanted, I, I'll try the air fryer next time, and like the, the, the air fryer setting next time rather than the grill setting, and see how that does. And, uh, but this is definitely the, you know, this would be my preferred way to do a pork tenderloin. Very tender. Okay, so next time uh, we will talk about this more and all its bells and whistles and features and some of the things that you can do with it that might surprise you. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to slice this up and uh, it will be what's for dinner tonight. So we'll obviously let Teddy and Pippi have a little taste test as well. So we will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Okay guys, look, we have something to try. Okay, oh, anticipation. I didn't even have to say it. I think that's cheating somehow. You guys knew I was gonna get you. Oh, okay, that's right, that's right. Okay, good. <laughs> if he's like, make up your mind. <laughs> good dogs. Good, okay, one more. All right, down, down, yes. <laughs> Teddy, you're so obedient. You just knew to stay down, didn't you? You guys are so good. <laughs> Eating leather instead of something uh, juicy and tender. We want to be careful there. Sorry, per later truck went by. <clears throat> Sorry, which one is B? Dollar store ones? I didn't say that properly.